The G5 Sahel is an institutional framework for coordination of regional cooperation in development policies and security matters in West Africa and was set up in February 2014 to strengthen the bond between economic development and security. Member states are Burkina Faso, Chad, Mali, Mauritania and Niger, three of which are members of ECOWAS. To this effect, the ECOWAS Parliament at its second ordinary session pledged its support for the G5 Sahel Group to promote peace and security in the region to complement the efforts of the group. Sahel sont de la CDAO. Most of the countries in the G G5 Sahel are members of ECOWAS as well, so there's no competition. Uh, vous savez, on ne peut pas avoir la sécurité en Afrique de l'Ouest tant qu'on n'a pas réglé uh, ce, ce bloc qui ah. constitue l'autoroute vers la CDAO, c'est-à-dire uh, les pays du G5 Sahel qui sont uh, menacés. We cannot solve the, the security problem in West Africa within ECOWAS if we don't solve the problem that is around the GS Sahel area. Nous devons, de, de, devons faire une résolution et demander au chef d'état de la CDAO d'appuyer le G5 Sahel. Uh, normally we are supposed to have a resolution uh, urging the heads of state to support the G5 Sahel. C'est ça qu'il faut faire. That, this is what we need to do. Speaker of the National Assembly of Niger further urged members to support the fight against terrorism. The countries of the Sahel have fought uh, vigorously by creating an intergovernmental framework of uh, G5 Sahel. On their part, the parliamentarians of these five uh, uh, countries, in order to ensure the democratic ownership of this new integration, have created an inter inter parliamentary structure so as to follow the construction of this uh, framework. The objective of this is to make sure that we have a good governance in the conduct of activities in terms of security and development. Equus parliamentarians, on their part, should be the spokes persons of this exigency for world peace. The Speaker also urged members of the Parliament to create conditions for citizens to migrate legitimately to encourage free movement of goods and persons. Mr. Speaker, I would want to hope that I can count on the involvement of your Parliament so that we can create a condition for good migration, for a migration that is uh, free of these mafia groups, a migration that does not condemn our uh, youth to death in the, in the desert or in the immense uh, uh, ocean. I would I will want you to commit ECOWAS so that we can pull our efforts together so as to organize more vigilant controls at, our, at the borders that are more exposed in our community. I also want to hope that your parliament will encourage all its members to commit themselves in this struggle for a migration that will uh, support the free movement of uh, uh, goods and services uh, and capital in our sub-region. The second ordinary session of the ECOWAS Parliament is to consider and adopt the 2019 budget of the community and also several work programs. The ECOWAS Commission President, Jean-Claude Brou, will present the community report and members of the Parliament will also present their various country reports at the session.